Hey, what's going on guys? In this quick video, I wanna show you how to set up your MIDI keyboard inside the Logic Pro. So the MIDI keyboard I'm gonna be setting up today is an M Audio Keystation 61 Mark III, but this will be the same process despite of what MIDI keyboard you are using. It is just a case of changing a preset, which we'll talk about in just a moment. So when you first plug in your USB cable into Logic Pro, it should work straight out of the box in terms of playing notes and sounds. But if we focus on the transport section, we'll find that they don't work as they should. So it's playing a note rather than the function itself. And this is what we need to fix. So in order to go and do that, the first thing we want to do is come up to Logic Pro in the top left hand corner right there. And we're gonna go down to control surfaces first of all, and down to setup. So going back a few updates ago, we used to have a section over here on the left hand side with all the perimeters in there that we needed to change. That isn't there automatically anymore. So if you guys aren't seeing that, I'll show you how to get that back in a minute as it is really important in order to get this to work. But before we do that, I just want you to focus on this new tab right there. So if you tap on that and hit that install button, will be presented by all these templates inside of here. So you may have to do a bit of research or maybe go to your manufacturer website or manual to find out which one of these you need with Logic Pro. But for anybody that is using a M Audio key station, we need to set that up using the Mackie Designs Mackie Control right there. So once you guys find which one it is that you need along here, you just simply add that. And we can just close this box there because we no longer need it. So at the moment, we can't do anything with this because we don't have the perimeters on the left hand side. So we can double tap it. We can try and delete it. It just won't do anything. So in order to get this to work now, we need to come back over to the left hand side at the top. And this time we're going to go to preferences over to audio and all the way over to the right hand side to where it says advanced. So once you tap on that, you've got all of these here. And the one that you need to make sure that is checked is that control surfaces one right there. You can enable all of these if you want, that's entirely up to you. But if you don't, then just make sure you've got control surfaces checked. For me, I'm just gonna enable them all and I'm just gonna close that. So if we come back and we close this now and we come back to Logic Pro again, back down to control surfaces, back to setup, there's all our perimeters that I was talking about. So now we've got these, all we have to change in all of this are these two top ones right there, the output port and the input port. So for the M Audio key station, it will appear here. Yours may have a different name providing what you're using. So for the output, we need just the USB MIDI. And for the input, we need to make sure that says transport. And that is all you have to do and it will work from there. So if we close that now, and we just hit the notes, make sure they're working as they should. And now our transport should work with the play button straight away. You can see it's moving the playhead. We can hit stop to stop, stop again to go back. We've got the record button and stop. We've got these buttons here that can scroll through the tracks. And if you hit that one there, it will make them bigger or smaller by zooming in and out. And our volume will work as well. For some reason, it doesn't seem to move it on the screen, as you can see. It did used to work. I'm not sure why it doesn't anymore. But if we play a sound, sorry, I've just got to go back up to that piano up the top there. So we've got a sound loaded. You can see that it's working. And as we adjust the volume, it gets quieter all the way down. And we've got no sound at all. So you can see that is working also. So I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, then please give me a thumbs up as it makes all the difference. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see any future Logic Pro videos by myself. But for now, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.